So I'm gonna call my editor Rickard right now because I have a surprise for him. What's up? Hey, there he is. Go check your front door right now. You have okay. something. Okay, sure. So let's give you some context here about this new computer. So Rickard has been editing for Premiere Gal for a little over two years now. And what I end up doing more and more on the channel is a lot of research, testing of new tools, writing and filming. And once I'm done, I now send off my footage to my two editors. I have Rickard and Jiva. And a few months back, Rickard had been messaging me that he's really having issues uh, rendering out some of our footage and our edits. It was just taking so long and it would end up failing. And he had been like putting his former laptop to the test, like eight hour plus days, rendering, going, going, going. Like it was like a decent laptop, but you know, it just was nope. at its limit. Oh, come on. Oh. And because Rickard's doing far more editing than I do on the channel, I was like, we need to hook him up with a new computer. So I reached out to my friends at Puget Systems to see if we could hook Rickard up with a brand new workstation, not a laptop that could improve his workflow. And I'm so happy that Puget Systems came through and was able to supply this awesome workstation. Rickard's gonna cover what this new computer is. So Rickard, take it away. Yo, 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 my name is Rickard and welcome to my crib. Come in. No, seriously. Here, Please come. don't talk here, about I got it. Careful. No, I got it. We are going to answer three questions. And the first one being, what is the most important thing to look for when you are buying a new custom editing computer? Well, we would say that it's the CPU and the GPU. The CPU or the processor is fundamental for an editing PC because it basically dictates the speed of your edits and render. And you do not want to cheap out on a CPU because it will most likely end up costing you even more because all of your projects are gonna take longer and time is money. So yeah. And another very important aspect is that it will also steal more of your energy that you would otherwise be able to put into, I don't know, editing? And the hardware accelerated encoding and decoding performance provided by Intel QuickSync on the core i9-14900K is a big part of what makes this system great for my work in Premiere Pro. And something worth mentioning is that Puget gave me the Intel CPU instead of the AMD CPU because I mainly edit in H.264 and not RAW files. And that is a very important factor when choosing a CPU because if you mainly edit RAW ProRes and DNX codecs, then the AMD Threadripper CPU would be better, but also of course more expensive. And thanks to Puget Systems editing hardware recommendation page, I also learned that Intel QuickSync accelerates both H.264 and H.265. And why it's so important to have a great graphics card? Well, obviously I know that, and that is why I will tell you that right now. Okay, <laughs> due to its ability to accelerate rendering, provide real-time playback, and enhance overall editing performance. Oh, really? Huh. Yeah, I, I, I knew that. <laughs> and also, don't forget about storage. It goes without saying, but you will almost always be out of storage. It doesn't matter how much you have, it's always full. 
What improvements have I seen since I switched over to the Puget System computer? Well, first of all, the playback is so much smoother and there is literally zero delay on full resolution. I can also work seamlessly in both 4K footage and green screen footage, which used to be a nightmare. I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty terrible. This basically allows me to be way more efficient and that also makes me able to take on more work and in the end earn more money. And that is essentially the power of upgrading your gear and making sure that it is up to today's standard. It's an investment and the goal is to make a profit in the end. Here's a quick calculation based on one of the recent videos that I made for Premier Gal. And by the way, this is a very typical video, I would say, both in terms of edits and length wise. So I thought it was a good video to test this out on. It would have taken my Razer laptop about 25 minutes to render this. And I'm saying would because it crashed on me. I'm fine. And it took my Puget computer five and a half minutes. To make this easier to calculate, because I did not do well in math, let's say that it's a 20 minute difference between the renders. A typical Premiere Gal video takes approximately eight hours to edit. And let's say that we make one video per week for one year. That would be 52 videos. That is 17 hours of just render time in difference. And let's say that you work full time as a video editor and hypothetically make one of these videos per day. That would be almost 85 hours in just render time. That's crazy. That's the equivalent of two full weeks of work. And let's say you have this computer for four years, which is quite a lot for someone who edits a lot and renders a lot because that takes its toll on the computer. But that's the equivalent of two months worth of work. So what tools did we have to reinstall to get back up and running again on Puget? Well, first of all, we had to reinstall Chrome. Yes, that's right. And then we downloaded Creative Cloud and installed Premiere Pro, Photoshop, After Effects and so on. And we also made sure to reinstall all the plugins that we currently use, such as Firecut, Max and Red Giant, Film Impact, and of course the GAL Toolkit, where we get all of our transitions, overlays, sound effects, and everything else we might need for our edit. And thanks to Lucidlink, in a short moment, I was ready to get back to editing. And what will I do with my old laptop? Well, I will keep it, of course, because I will always find a use for it, especially when I'm out traveling. The biggest difference between Puget and buying a already assembled computer is that Puget make the computer based on your needs, while a pre-made computer might not be exactly what you're looking for. Puget reached out to me and had a bunch of questions of, for instance, what my current setup looks like and what type of codecs I'm currently and mostly working in. And after I answered all of those questions, they made sure to customize the perfect computer for my needs. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this deep dive into Rickard's new station. If you guys have any questions at all, just leave a comment below. And if you want more hardware related content on the channel, just give this video a thumbs up. Thanks Rickard for the review and Puget Systems for sending the workstation. And yeah, as always, keep creating better video with Gal. See you next time. Bye. Ooh.